what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what, you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Um, I'm hearing that Gamboa and Devin Haney is a real thing. They're beginning on in September. They're just working out a few minor details. Well, money is never really minor detail, but Devin Haney will fight um, Gamboa. Also, here are some things that Fox is going to come with some bangers. I'm hearing that the Fox lineup is going to be straight heat. I don't have any in indication as far as, you know, who's going to be fighting who other than what I already explained. But let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. It's been a long day, dog. A long, long, long day. All right, man. I've been up since 6 in the morning working. But, uh, but yeah, uh, I heard it's going to be... Um, we can start off with uh, Devin Haney. I'm hearing that they uh, pretty much Gamboa is 100% healthy from the injury. He gonna uh, Devin Gamboa will be going over to the zone to fight Devin Haney, and Devin Haney will be taking on Uricus Gamboa in September. You know, if everything goes right, injury free, no COVID. Um, Y'all know the whole the whole situation how it goes. So, um, I mean, personally, I have no. I have no satisfaction for this for this fight. <laughs> none. Um, none. I have no satisfaction for this fight. None. I can care less if they do or don't fight. I can care less if somebody can't fight because of COVID or, or injury. This fight is like, dude, Gamboa been done for years. All right, he getting this, he getting credit for getting beat up for 11 rounds versus Tank on one ankle. You know, and that's it. That's what he getting credited for. And, and Devin Haney... Excuse me, Devin Haney, you know, what does this fight do to him do for him? Nothing. Devin Haney is not gonna catch Tiafima Lopez. If Lopez beat up Lomachenko, it's gonna be it if he in the zone is still an operational company. The, Devin Haney ain't gonna never catch Tiafima Lopez. Unless he catch he unless he unless they shoot the fade. Real talk. He ain't gonna never catch Tiafima Lopez fighting fighting the dudes that he fighting. You know what I'm saying? But another thing about about this, this just shows you Al Heyman can send somebody across the street when he want to. For Tuna across the street, Gamboa, see, he'll send his C and D and E listers. You know what I'm saying? He'll send them across the street. But that just lets you know Al Heyman will work with, you know, Derbachenko and, and with uh, Golovkin and, and the zone and matchroom team. See, he, he got selective. He's selective when he want to work with people. You know, he, you know, this just shows you bullshit. Anything can happen. He can hash out a deal, you know, but I don't really care. It, it, it's not going to make me look at Devin Haney. This is every, this is nothing to gain and everything to lose for Devin Haney. I'm not going to look at Devin Haney no different. Now, only way I look at Devin Haney different, only way I look at Devin Haney different, if he go out there and struggle or lose the game ball, that's it. You know, this is a glorified tune-up because Gamboa was once a name. What's so funny is you couldn't get nobody to say Gamboa name at all like seven years ago. And what's and I said this before, and I don't know how many people watch my videos. I don't want to sound like I repeat myself, but everybody don't get to catch every video I do. TGB Promotions made an offer for Mikey Garcia to fight Gamboa. Mikey Garcia turned it down like now, like like in today's age, you know, 2020. And he said no because it was it, it was it was pointless. He said it was pointless. So I, I feel him on that one. I don't feel like he dug Gamboa there, but we know he dug Gamboa a few years ago. Robert didn't think he can fuck with him. Straight up and down, and you know. I mean, what else? We know that. So this is this is a pointless fight. You know what I'm saying? If Ryan beat Luke Campbell, bro, like, dude, Ryan, I'm going to have to put Ryan above, uh, depending on how you beat Luke Campbell, I'm going to have to rank Ryan ahead of uh, Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? So, Devin Haney already, like, set, he, like, third in the, in the house already, as far as the, the major four. You know what I'm saying? I think there are better fighters that could be better fighters other than those four, 
but they they all at lightweight. To Ryan, uh, Devin, and, and Shakur is one weight class below them now. So I would go To Shakur, Devin, and Ryan. If, if Devin, you know, if Ryan beat up Luke Campbell in spectacular fashion, then I got to rank Ryan over Devin based off a of body of work. So. Like I said, man, you sign with the wrong person, you know, that's just what happened. You know, and it's a bad weight class, too, to be honest. It's a whole high-risk, low-reward other than Lomachenko. You know, but, you know, at the end of the day, I see uh, Devin should. I just shouldn't go past six. You know, I believe he should outbox and punish Gamble. But we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I heard Fox is bringing the, I came to bring the pain, hardcore pain. He coming to bring the pain like Method Man, bro. I heard they coming with that hot. They coming with that heat. So the Fox schedule is slated to be released tomorrow. And I heard Tony Harrison is supposed to be a part of it. You know, possibly uh, Clarissa Shields is supposed to be a part of it. Possibly Caleb Plant and Caleb Truex could be a part of it. And then that ain't 100%. Um, so I'm hearing a lot of a lot of people could be a part. I heard it's going to be better than the Showtime um, lineup card. And I said, this, I heard it's going to be some shockers. I heard that Sean Porter is supposed to uh, uh, tune up. They wanted him to do fight Keith or Lopez, but I heard he going to tune up. So maybe it could be a shocker, but I heard Danny and Errol is a done deal. I've been saying that. But when Cobberger said, everybody go, oh, my God, it's a done deal. Oh, my God, Negro, 7-8. I can't believe Earl Spence is fighting. Oh, my God. You hear me? You know, they going to be I've been saying this shit for months. This fight was done. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it is. So, I'm not sure what the surprise is as far as the shockers on the card, but I know Andy Chris Ariola is gonna be a Fox car, so it's gonna be, it's gonna, I heard it's gonna be crack. So, but you always gotta remember to press the press the pause button too because it's a situation where it's a situation where you know nothing is gonna be you know for sure until they pass the COVID test. So you know they gotta pass several depending on what PBC protocol is probably going to be very similar to top rank, but it might be a possibility where you won't see the majority of these fights. You might see makeshift main events, so a lot of people counting their chickens saying, oh, this is going to be a great lineup, but remember top rank, they had a lot of fights fall out. They had a false positive in Jamil Heron, you know, so a lot of fighters, you know, fell out. Then you also got fighters that may be too far down, the, down uh, too far out of shape and not being able to make the weight. And they might pull out with injuries, say, oh, I'm injured, but it's just they couldn't make the weight. So that's all, all things you have to consider when, when talking about this. We can't count our eggs before they hatch. But I'm here, I'm hearing that Fox lineup supposed to be some super ugly. You know what I'm saying? I heard it's gonna be bad. I heard it's gonna be badass. You know? Hey, I believe I don't think Snoop played that yesterday. You know, uh the song he had with badass. I'm gonna do a DMX review if I ain't posted yet. Snoop, that shit was epic. I don't care what nobody got to say about me. I got nothing to hide. I want the world to see. Snoop could, could have kept going for another 20 songs last night. You know what I'm saying? Real talk, Snoop could have kept could, could have kept it going. He ain't played Let's Give Love. He had some shit. He could have played the whole doggy style. But um, be out here in Fox bringing the pain tomorrow. I heard they shutting shit down. So I'm, I'm interested to see. I know some of the leaked fights. I don't want to sound like I'm repeating myself once again, but everybody don't see every video. So I go over what I've heard so far. Also, Danny Roman left his own for a multi-fight deal with the PBC. I mean, he lost his belts anyway, so he wasn't no, he wasn't no need to, to zone and match room. But I'm hearing Ariola and uh, Andy Ruiz on regular Fox. I'm hearing Clarissa Shields can be part of a, a Fox card. I don't know how true that is. Also hearing Tony Harrison going to be part of the Fox card. I'm hearing Sean Porter could be tuning up. I guess that's going to be on Fox. They want him to fight Keith Thurman. Or they want him to fight uh, Josito Lopez. So we could be seeing him tune up on Fox. Um, also, I'm hearing that uh, Errol Spence and Danny Garcia, that's a done deal. Caleb Plant versus Caleb Truex. That's not 100%, but that's something that they're working on. Um you know, so also I heard Laura got a fight day coming up. Not sure if it's going to be on Fox, FS1 or whatever. Also, you got Delorme and, and Jamal James that's going to be on FS1 or Fox or something like that. 
I mean, you got quite a few uh, guys that's still hanging out there. I'm hearing Lara Post had his fight day. We haven't heard much about Jared Hurd and his fight day. He could be landing back on Fox. J-Rock could be landing back on Fox. So you got a lot of possibility because there's a lot of names that ain't really rung bells uh, that got to eat for PBC. You know what I'm saying? And it was to the point for PBC where it was to the point for PBC where, you know, when they was just on Showtime, they didn't have enough fight days. And they still will refuse to work with other promoters, you know, to keep dudes happy. And that's sad, bro. But it's a lot of fighters that we haven't heard from that I'm, I'm expecting to see on that that Fox lineup. So I'm expecting to see Keith. I'm expecting to see Sean. I'm expecting to see Josito Lopez. I'm expecting to see, you know, I'm hearing Clarissa name throwing out. That could happen or couldn't happen. I don't know if it was because Raquel Miller, you know, telling y'all boy, uh, ball, head, shop conversation that Al Heyman don't care about women. And you know, I felt that Floyd Mayweather should be, should be, should be pressing for Clarissa Shields and, and try to sign her and put her on. But you know, Floyd, he don't care nothing about niggas, man. You know, they ain't, they ain't trying to put nobody on. It's sad though, man. He should be trying to push that girl, but it is what it is, man. But I'm hearing Fox coming. You know, they coming, they coming hard, man. They coming like hard in the paint. Excuse me. They coming hard in the paint. So. I mean, we got to wait and see, but I'm hearing tomorrow that Fox card could be unveiled. So I'm, I'm I'm interested to know, you know, what some of these secret fights. I don't even know, but I saw, I heard that it's gonna be some some things that we don't expect. So hopefully it ain't one of those things where, you know, we sit here and say, oh, we don't expect this, that, and third, and it'd be some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> but I hope the person that's that's kind of pushing this out, man, he's solid. So hopefully whatever they 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 working on. Whatever they 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 doing, hopefully it's gonna be hopefully it's gonna be fireworks. But those are some of the names you could be looking at. So Caleb Plant gonna be able to squeeze two fights in this year. David Benavidez, he's supposed to be this big star. And somebody sent me an interview. I didn't watch it with him talking about Caleb Plant need to bow down. He lying, knowing he ducking. And for people that that don't think uh, Caleb Plant, you know, don't think Benavidez Benavidez is ducking. Why is he fighting Alexis or, or Ramiro? You know what I'm saying? As a voluntary, bro. Like, that's not a mandatory fight, knowing that he got another mandatory behind him. He doing all that talk. That's why you don't believe what the fighters say. At first, it, you you couldn't believe what the fighter. You're not supposed to believe what the fighters say building up to the fight. Watching Floyd, you know, and a lot of his opponents talk all this shit, making you believe and making you spend $65, and they don't even get, they don't even like they really try and get beat up. Just seeing they can crack the May Vinci code. But now, you can't believe what none of these fighters seeing in the media. Because when you when you when you when you hear what's being said behind closed doors and what's being said by the fighter, it, it rarely matches up. It rarely matches up. So, I mean that 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 is what it is on that point, man. But I'm I'm expecting this, I'm expecting fireworks tomorrow, man. From what I heard, so um, hopefully it don't disappoint. So I don't even know what this mystery fights are, but Danny and Earl is done. So you know for those. Um, I've been saying it, it's been done, it's been coming together, so I'm um, not sure exactly what the date going to be, but we'll find out tomorrow it's going to be part of Fox. I don't know if Mike, Mikey and Danny is the mystery fight or whatever it is, but I do know that Fox told PBC that if they don't get their shit together, like, dude, they're going to terminate their contract, so they got to produce ratings, they got to produce better fights. So, I, And one thing I don't know, they haven't told me, if there's going to be more pay-per-views on Fox to make up for the lack of fans. So, I mean, a lot of people getting excited about about these fights on pay-per-view, but you still got to pay for them. I'm not paying for none of them. So, I mean, that is what it is. Appreciate the love, support. Keep sharing the videos. Uh, Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash app, PayPal, description. Keep sharing the videos, man. It's the best way to help them out. Check out our boxing news and boxing rumor playlist uh, for more videos like this. You know, cash app, PayPal, description if y'all want to donate. Appreciate the love, support. Best way to donate, share the video. We gone.